Hey, how's it going? We are in Proverbs chapter 26, verses 12 through 16 today. Let's see what we got. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. The sluggard says, There is a lion in the road, a fierce lion roaming the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He is too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. <laughs> and that's just, I don't know, that's rough. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who answer discreetly. So, there you go. Some pretty harsh stuff about the sluggards and the fools and that sort of a thing. Um, verse 12. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. So, if you already know everything, you can't learn. There's no hope for you. You're just stuck. You're the expert. You got it all figured out. You know, you, you're, you're probably got a pretty, uh, you know, one-dimensional understanding of reality if you think you know everything. And so, you're just... As it says here, there's more hope for a fool than for him. And judging by how they talk about fools in the book of Proverbs, there's not much hope for a fool. So you're really in bad shape. You're worse than a fool if you are wise in your own eyes. Uh, so there you go. Verse 13, the sluggard always has an excuse. There's always an excuse. The sluggard says, there is a lion in the road, a fierce lion roaming the streets. Like, we can't do it. There's a lion. Um, well, don't, don't be afraid of every little thing. You got to take some risks. Don't take foolish risks. But if you want there to be zero risk and for everything to work or you're not going to try, you're not going to do anything. You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, you got to take few risks every now and again. Don't just give excuses why you can't try. That's not good. That's a sluggard according to this. As the door turns on its hinges, so a sluggard turns in his, on his bed. So like, that's the extent of the motion. You know, the, the door never goes anywhere. It just goes back and forth. And the sluggard on the bed never gets up and does anything. So there's, in the book of Proverbs, there's definitely a warning against being lazy. Being lazy because you have excuses all the time, you know, you're never getting anything productive done. You know, you're not taking care of your stuff. We want to be diligent, be productive in our days, in our hours that we're awake. Go do some things that are meaningful and purposeful. Get some stuff done. It's important. So don't be the sluggard. Verse 15, the sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He is too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. So I don't know why I pick, picture peanut M&M's. When I read this, <laughs> you know, and just there it is. Like, oh, <laughs> you haven't eaten any yet. Um, that's funny. That's pretty lazy. Bury your hand in the dish, too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. I think what this is talking about is like, you want something, you don't really need it. So then when you get it, it you don't use it. It doesn't do any good. Have you ever poured like a... a beverage for yourself and then you didn't drink it okay there you go you didn't really need it what are you doing so there you go that's lazy and then verse 16 ties into verse 12 the sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who answer discreetly so the sluggard always has an answer why they can't do anything there's a line in the road it's too hard you know, my back hurts, whatever it might be. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who answer discreetly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Back to verse 12. So those are dangerous things. Um, we don't want to be lazy. We don't want to be wise in our own eyes. So what I want to pray for this time is to pray for honest humility. You know, um, I think the best definition of humility I've heard is um, humility isn't thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. 
So humility isn't, you know, like, oh, I'm an idiot, you know, or that sort of thing. It's just like, think about other people. Think about the situation. Don't think about yourself. You know, wise in your own eyes, you're thinking about yourself and how you measure up against everybody else. Well, how about instead look at other people, look at the situation, try to help, try to do the job. Don't be looking at yourself all the time. So honest humility is tremendously valuable. So let's pray to have that. You know, not selfishness, not laziness, not wise in our own eyes, but honest humility. That is a gift and we need to value it and grab hold of it. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would help us take hold of honest humility, not uh, thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less, but having a clear picture of who we are, but not really focusing on that as much as we're focusing on helping other people, focusing on the situations that are out there, and, and just trying to do something to help, to be a benefit to somebody. Um, so, Father, give us that uh honest humility so that we can see the world accurately and actually be helpful to others and learn as we live our lives. So Father, guide us in this, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.